Okay, we just have to talk about the preliminary competition for Miss Universe 2023. There were just some women who stood out so much. In my opinion, this year, prelims were kind of boring. Not to mention, it got off to a very rocky start. Me being in Southern Africa, I had to get up at like half past three in the morning because it was due to start at 4 a.m., and then, obviously, I had bought my tickets on Live Bash like three days ago. And so I thought, okay, I'm just gonna log into Live Bash and watch the prelims. No, 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 no. It's like error, page not found. And I was like, okay, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just because people are still logging on. I still have time, right? So I went on Instagram and I saw that the whole Live Bash like site crashed and was like definitely not working and i was like okay well i spent a whole bag of chickens worth of money on these tickets so what is going to happen now but it was later revealed that of course they're going to give um refunds and stuff like that but anyway my point being the prelims and the national costume competition ended up being streamed on the miss universe YouTube channel for free for everyone to watch anyway. And uh, Miss You Updates, I saw she commented on the Miss Universe post that they made, like, you guys broke the internet, so now we're going to put it on YouTube. And she was like, well, don't use a random streaming service that nobody's ever heard of to be streaming, like, two of the most important items of Miss Universe. <laughs> And I, I totally agree with that. And so that was a bit of a mess. Uh, speaking of prelims, it was very underwhelming as a whole. Um, the music, guys, the music, the elevator music that these girls were forced to walk swimsuit in. I was surprised that there were any women who were able to pull out good performances to that music. I mean, Nicaragua basically performed a miracle on that stage, giving that insanely good performance to that terrible elevator music that I don't even know where they got that from. So speaking of the swimsuit competition, let's just get into the girls who I thought performed the best. Starting with Australia, I think that Australia did pretty well in the swimsuit competition. I can definitely foresee Australia getting into the top 20 at Miss Universe this year. Colombia, guys, Colombia definitely performed her heart out on the Miss Universe prelim stage for swimsuit but I was expecting that from Colombia definitely I mean Colombia is always the one the one of the first ones that's the thing right when Miss Universe is happening usually the first wow performance is usually going to be Colombia if we're going in alphabetical order so I wasn't surprised that Colombia actually brought it then there was Guatemala I was ex I wasn't expecting that performance from Guatemala to be honest with you Guatemala is one of the um, mothers competing at Miss Universe this year I think she's a mother of two she did amazing in my opinion she really blew it out of the water when it came to her swimsuit performance then India. India for me also gave a wow performance at prelims. I really think that she pulled out all of the stops when it came to the swimsuit competition. I wish the same applied for India during the gown competition, which I wasn't very impressed with, but her swimsuit performance was really, really off the charts. Then, of course, guys, the woman who actually gave me life at this year's Miss Universe preliminary competition Nicaragua, I think we can all agree that she was fantastic at prelims. She was definitely, she won prelims basically. When it came to swimsuit and gown, Nicaragua was the one, okay? She definitely gave us all life, especially because this poor woman had to perform this amazing routine to that dull elevator music that Miss Universe chose to play while the girls were doing swimsuit. Then we had Paraguay. Paraguay performed surprisingly well during the swimsuit competition as well. And the Philippines. Now, Michelle D, of course, we know that she has the attitude. She has the confidence. She has been displaying that even off stage, like since she was crowned. So I wasn't surprised to see that Michelle had everything under control when it came to the swimsuit competition either. Puerto Rico, again, one of those women who really just knows how to convey confidence on stage. She did everything that she was supposed to do during the swimsuit competition. Very impressed with Puerto Rico. 
and of course my birth country south africa south africa really really played the face game during her performances brioni you can tell she has been p practicing in a room full of mirrors checking out her face just making sure that her face is absolute perfection that's what i was getting from her performances i just couldn't take my eyes off of her face the transitions were flawless i am so impressed with brioni's swimsuit competition performance lastly for swim venezuela i could not not talk about venezuela just because i watched her swimsuit performance every single step she took every movement she made every look she gave was executed with such utter perfection that you know she's impossible to ignore i mean how i don't think it's possible to give a technically more perfect performance than Venezuela gave during the swimsuit competition. Let's talk about gowns, guys, who I have uh, far fewer favorites for. Uh, starting with Chile, actually. I was, I was surprised when it came to Chile um, because you guys know I don't exactly love white gowns on stage because they do tend to skew bridal depending on, you know, what's going on with the gown. But Chile really came out in a very gorgeous gown. It had some um, some details that made it very non-bridal. I really liked Chili's gown. I liked her performance as well. Columbia, guys, of course, I know, I don't know what it is about Colombian contestants, but they love the strapless silver gown, don't they? They really do. A lot of them do, and they... <laughs> It's just nobody's gonna do it like Ariadna Gutierrez did it at Miss Universe 2015. But this year's Miss Universe Colombia came pretty close, okay? She really surprised me when it came to prelims, both in the swimsuit and the gown competition. But her gown performance especially to me was very regal, very beautiful. Of course, guys, our queen and goddess this year, Nicaragua. Oh my goodness. This gown, you could not take her your eyes off of her. And it was not even because of the gown. It was the performance made this gown beautiful. The performance just... Oh, it, it's impossible to explain the feelings I felt while watching Nicaragua. She like, she awoke something in me. She was so beautiful and perfect and engaging. It felt like she was... You know what it feels like, right? This is going to sound really, really creepy, but it felt like she was performing just for me. I don't know why. Her performance made me feel so special. <laughs> I love Nicaragua. I love Nicaragua. She was absolutely phenomenal. Amazing on that stage. She really has the it factor when it comes to performances at least next up panama i do also feel like panama did pretty well when it came to gown i had no complaints and puerto rico just like nicaragua puerto rico also gave a very outstanding performance when it came to the evening gown competition nicaragua and puerto rico really were two of these women who were banking on the fact that a lot of the other women were not going to give engaging performances. You know, I think that a lot of the women think that when they do the evening gown performance, it's all about the gown. It's all about showing the gown, maybe like moving your body in certain ways. But I definitely think that Puerto Rico and Nicaragua, especially, they have figured out the secret to a good evening gown performance is being ultra open and engaging and taking in your surroundings. They were just magnificent. Puerto Rico, stunning as well. Her gown, very plain, very simple, but her performance made it exceptional. And that's something that I wish more pageant women could get into their thick skulls. That you have to give an engaging performance Okay, that's what it's about. Then we have South Africa. I'm calling this the sand gown. I haven't even read up on what the gown is about, but I truly enjoyed Brioni at this year's preliminary competition so much. I thought that this gown really brought out her skin tone a lot. It made her literally shine. I mean, she looked 
golden and gorgeous and so i was very impressed with south africa this year as well especially like brioni her face game is through the roof so very impressed with brioni lastly venezuela venezuela had a gorgeous gown on as well she also gave a beautiful performance so i was very impressed with venezuela as well venezuela for me she stood out more in the swimsuit competition that she than she did in the gown competition but i do still think that she did pretty well when it came to gown so yes guys those were in my opinion the best women from the preliminary competition for miss universe if you didn't notice there were five women who i thought did amazing in both categories both swim and gown um, which were venezuela south africa puerto rico nicaragua and colombia i think that these women were the absolute stars of the miss universe prelims but i do think that nicaragua and puerto rico were shining the brightest of all so let me know what you guys think i'd love to know thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye